And, um, <coughs> excuse me. We, are, we have now four bridges illuminated. Mm -hmm. um, half of them are um, obviously the, the Cambridge side, sure. the old bridge, the river. So they're now permanently illuminated mm -hmm. bridges right. um, along the parklands, which um, I'm particularly fond of because I feel it's bringing a little bit of European mm -hmm. tradition to, to, to the parklands. Mm -hmm. Yes. And let's go back to the, to the map again. Um, looking at um, some of the other projects that are happening um, are the, also the bridge renovations. Yes. Um, the bridges are, as we know, uh, in, in disrepair. In, in disrepair. Mm -hmm. So I guess that always offers an opportunity to, to improve them. That's right. And I know both the, the bicycle committee and mm -hmm. livable streets, right. Boston, the Cambridge. pedestrian walkways are really needed, particularly on the BU Bridge, needed improvement. Yeah. yeah. It was not. Uh, it was hazardous to ride your bike because you were often in the street with vehicular traffic. But it also became unsafe just in general. And so I'm looking forward to the completion of the BU Bridge so that can get back to being utilized as broadly as it was being utilized prior to them, you know, closing it down and and uh, doing the repair on it. Yes, and in a way, it's a interesting um, politically probably because the the parklands, mm -hmm. they are owned and managed by the, the state, right, by the right, DCR, right, yeah. yet the beneficiaries are really the people of Cambridge. That's right. So in a, it's a bit of state park in your front yard, mm -hmm. and so <laughs> that it, it requires um, some, some coordination. Right, and, and so far so good. You know, yeah. um, Cambridge has been very aggressive working with the DCR, and you know, the DCR is, you know, been moving along. Yes, and you have a, a, an interesting public public partnership on on Magazine Beach, mm -hmm. which is, I think, an interesting model, where the land belongs to the DCR, mm -hmm. um, but Cambridge helped for the resta resta restoration, restoration yes. of those parklands. Right, right, they did. And so that might be a, an interesting model that might have more examples coming up mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. as the the state. Um, is often short on resources. In a way, the, the, the skate park is a, is a partnership. Right, it with, is. With the, the conservancy raising money, right. they raised over 2.2 .2 million. Wow. And then the DCR uh, will be the steward and, and uh, will maintain the skate park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there are very in may various models. It, well, it's, it, again, it's a very good public public partnership. Yes. Well, actually, and private because the conservancy is, is involved as well. Yes. And I, I know that all many of your fellow um, city council members mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, do a lot of things along the river. You have some very active, yes, we do active members, yes, bicyclists, we do. Yes, and, we do. and people yes. who, who run yes. and jog. That's right. We, I, I think just about all the members, in, in some way or another, have participated on the river, either through biking or through their environmental initiatives or walking for their own health. Yes. You know, so we've all, I think, taken an opportunity to, or not I shouldn't say taken an opportunity, but take opportunities to really enjoy the river at the riverfront as much as we can. Yes. There are also several schools that um, <coughs> regularly come to the Excuse parklands. Mm -hmm. um, there is the, the Moore School, right. which is near um, the Riverside Boat Club. Right. And the students from the Moore School come to the parklands. Mm -hmm. Um, they um, and then the rowers of Riverside Boat Club show them about rowing, right. and then they do actually work on the parklands. They do some cleanup, so that is a, a wonderful partnership between the rowers, the school, and mm -hmm. the conservancy. I just want to mention that I mean, my my children child now goes to the ACP Moore School, and I, they what, what's beneficial to that school is because they are right on Memorial Drive. They get to use the parkland quite a lot, just naturally, when they're doing outdoor activities. But we also want to mention the CRLS Road crew team that uses the river. They're, they're the boathouse that's closer to the Mount Auburn. Oh, end the, of the it. Cambridge Ridge and Latin right. School. But there's yes. a Cambridge Ridge and Latin School that you know uses uh, the river to practice. The, the, you know. Crew, it's it's wonderful. So you have the high school using it. You have our elementary schools using the river. You have the community using the river. We have people that come from Boston over to our side to use our side of the river. So it's a it's well used. It's well visited. It's I I can't. It's just extraordinary. It really is. 
we are very lucky. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a, lucky. it's an amazing it's an amazing city with an amazing river, mm -hmm. and and it is. I'm I'm glad that that the city takes such an interest in the river, mm -hmm. um, even if they don't own it and have no responsibility, because it gives so much pleasure to the the people in Cambridge. Yes, it does. It does. And. Uh, and there's also, you know, the the planning, the zoning board, and the planning board mm -hmm. are very much even very if active. they if they look at let's say Memorial Drive mm -hmm. and the, there's an overlay district That's there right. where mm -hmm. the um, the hotel is and where the the shopping area is across from the Riverside Boat Club, and I think there's a big understanding among the the planners and those various boards mm -hmm. of how important those those parklands are. That, I would agree. That is really um, an amazing, an amazing asset. And um, you mentioned festivals. Yes. There's of course also the the dragon boats. Oh is yes. A, is a, another wonderful celebration. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I could imagine that they will be more festivals now that the water is clean mm -hmm. I think the the water surface particularly also um, in the very end the eastern part of Cambridge mm -hmm. the new basin yes where there's a new park that is part of the mitigation uh, efforts of the big dig mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the North Point Park <coughs> Excuse me. that will be a wonderful area for festivals oh you know I have my children live in that part of Cambridge and We've just this summer started walking around that area, and it's really developing. And it's sort of like a secret garden, you know. And it's very well landscaped, and so uh, we get a great deal of enjoyment from from just visiting there and walking around there and lunching out there. So it's 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 very nice. It's really nice. It it's, is. Uh, it, not so many people know quite yet. So it's very peaceful over there. Not very many people know, and uh, right now it's still kind of a dead end. Mm -hmm. And yes. um, although the, the Boston Dock tours, they go into the water there. Right, they do. But um, I know that many planners from Cambridge and your um, the staff from the Bicycle Committee, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. have been very outspoken that it's very important to have these bike path mm -hmm. connections, both right. to the Minuteman and across the river to link to the Rose Kennedy Greenway, mm -hmm. to the Harbor Walk. Right. So I know there have been um, um, very outspoken bicyclists in Cambridge, yes, both on committees yes, and the are. staff. Yes, on that. So I'm we're coming to the end of our show, but I want to, to thank you for, for coming today mm -hmm. um, to, to talk about the river and all the wonderful things that you experience and you do in Cambridge. I want to thank you for all well, you thank do. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Again, and this is an opportunity just to say thank you for all the work, you know, you personally through the Charles River Conservancy and all that you do to make sure that the river is available to all of us. So thank you so much for all the work that you do and continue to do. Thank you. Well, I, uh, you just watched the Charles River Parkland show and thank you for being with us and join us again. And thank you, Mayor Simmons, for joining us. My pleasure. And goodbye. <laughs>